All right, it seems I've got it hooked up, everything, all the cameras. I've actually got, this is showing nine, but I've got uh, 10. There's one on the second screen. They didn't have a 10 window layout because of the, uh, I guess, the structure of it. They did, but one, it had two corridor windows that were real long, and I'll show you that later on. But if we come in here into my closet here, you'll see no more desktop computer anymore. The back porch temperature is 72 degrees. So we got no more blue iris running. We've got the Onwote system here. That's the Onwote NBR recorder. And yeah, it's not very pretty. It didn't fit in there real good because of all my wires. Now I could have attached to here, but I didn't have the correct uh, wings here, wing brackets that were long enough to reach the edge here to mount it in the rack like the other components here. So I got all the cameras connected directly into the Onwote system, except for a couple that are in my switch up here, where in the attic they split on another switch, and those I connected uh, as I would any other with an IP address and a port number, which I already had set up. So, with that being said, I'm very happy with it so far. Now I'm diving into the software part of it, the administration panel, and uh, we're gonna go and look at that next because I wanna go over that with you so you guys understand it. And there's a lot to it. So you can learn a little bit on day one and probably six months later, still be learning more features uh, because it's jam packed with features and uh, different setups that you can do with all of your cameras. So. Like I got, I got a mixture of cameras right now. I think I got just the one 4K pan and tilt that's at my front door. And then I put the uh, garage cam. I think that is a 4K as well. I didn't put the six megapixels up yet, but all the other ones are my Amcrest cameras that are 1080p. So over the next week, I'll be installing outdoors and inside all of the, uh, the 4K and the six megapixel on cameras. But I didn't want to make you guys wait because I do have the system functional and uh, I'm excited to dive into it and show you how the app works. Hey guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Welcome back to NBR Security Systems Part 2. And in this Part 2 session, we're going to learn how to use both applications that are available for the Onwote NBR system. First, you have the smartphone application can be used for a smartphone or tablet and then you also have a Windows application for a desktop and just because the Onwote has these both both these applications makes it a superior unit so if you're looking for MBR system make sure you have access to a really good app and a really good desktop app for any MBR system you're looking for today and this is the one I chose after doing lots of reviews so I hope you like it so let's dive down into it and see what these apps can do and how how to install them Stay tuned. All right, so first I want to show you how to install the app of course I've already got the app installed but how to connect your system to the app and the app is called guard viewer here so I'm going to go ahead and open that up and here we're in the app I'm going to move this display over here and <clears throat> so when you're in an app like this you got to create the login of course I've got Todd's world login and uh, do your password and stuff and then your app will open up and you want to go to devices in the menu right here devices and select add so i'm going to add a device which is this and i can scan it so i'm going to take my mouse here and i'm going to right click open up the menu and go over to the left side here and go all the way down to maintain and here's your qr code in basic info says to scan download that qr code and we've got the scan option here at the top within the app so i'm going to select scan 
and scan that code. There we go. And I'm going to select playback high quality and let's do save at the top right, select save. And there it is our NVR device. Now, if I go back to the menu, top left, select live view. Now here are the camera slots. Now you have to add these in because we just scanned the whole batch in. I'm going to go back here so we can see this view here and exit out. So we want that view here on our camera app or our smartphone app. So I'm going to select plus in the first window, select my device. And here they are all in order right here. So I'm going to select them one at a time. Get the gate, front door, garage, kitchen, pool. See, they're all starting to come up. Lake room, office, back porch, doggy yard, and the last one, balcony. So they come up pretty quick too for having that many cameras within one app. You got the last one coming up there. And then you can also rotate it here. So you have the rotated view and you can also double click to zoom right into that camera. And then this is the a pan and tilt camera here. So if I open up pan and tilt, let's see. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm still learning. I got the pan and tilt. Okay, there's the uh, arrows. There we go. Little delay with the pan and tilt. So that's the front yard there. I'm going to scan towards the front door again. Go a little bit more. There we go. Got the front door in there. The app, see it's a little bit lagged. I'm going to back out of there. Undo pan and tilt. There we are. Double tap it again. We go back to all our cameras coming up. And let's see, if I go back here, let's go to images. Let's just show nine. There we go. Nine views, nine cameras. So I'm going to close the app out, just see how it works. I close that. Now I'm going to disconnect from Wi-Fi. So that way we can see if it's going to work when we're away from our home. We're not on the Wi-Fi here. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app. Guard viewer. And here they are. They all came up very quick and fast from cellular tower. So this is how it would be from anywhere around the world. They came up real fast. You can log into each camera, check the view. Here's the pool view. Here's the lake room. So the app is a major go for OnWoke. I'm very happy with it. And there's so many more options and I'm gonna let you guys have fun discovering those other options. Now I wanna share my PC screen with you and we're gonna take a look at the, it's called Guard Station 3.0 app for the Onwoop NVR system. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that to open it up. Allow it to open. And it will load Guard Station. So this you can use on any PC. And of course this PC here is in my office here at home. So it's on the same network. And we'll wait for this to load up. 
All right, and here we are. Here's Guard Station right here on the PC. This is the PC app for Onwot NVR systems. We'll select Live View here. And over here to the left in this column, you'll see you got the MVR folder. And if I select this plus sign, here's all my cameras. And I think we have to add these just like the app. So I'm going to double click that. Yeah. I'm going to make more windows here. I'm going to make, uh, let's make 10, 10 windows. Click this. We'll add the front door. By double clicking so you just select the window highlight it and then go up here and double click your camera and I believe you only have to do this one time just for the initial setup because I just set the system up <clears throat> and you know see this parts very easy everything so far has been fairly easy with this MBR system I'm pleasantly surprised And there we go. There's our cameras. Oops, there's expanded. Sorry, I took you out of view there. Now, if I wanted to uh, just look at the gate there, just double click the image, double click it again to go back, and double click, and we go back, check the garage out. All right, so that's how the uh, the Guard Station 3.0 PC uh, desktop PC app works for the Onwot NVR system cameras. And again, I'm pleasantly surprised. So, uh, so far, this is a recommend system. And I'm glad I did my research and found out that this was one of the easiest NVR systems uh, on Amazon right now. So, so that's it, guys. Thanks for joining in for another one of my videos. And I hope to see you on the next one.